The topic, David Bakhtiari and Trent Brown. The question, who's better? Let's just get into it. Okay, well, if you watched my uh, video about who's better, Aaron Jones or Josh Jacobs, you know, the comment section got a little wild. Uh, you know, I always love when people are willing to have discussions and sort of talk things out on my channel. I do have to, I want to say again, though, uh, as I said in that video, be nice. Uh, you don't have to be mean to someone just if they have a difference of opinion. Uh, we can have honest discussions and keep things uh, fair and keep things, you know, uh, intelligent as opposed to getting stupid. Uh, so with that being said, uh, I, I, I think these videos are fun and, uh, I, I don't know why I'm picking Packers and Raiders again, but I just, I love that dynamic last time. So I'm sticking with it. Uh, I'm going to accidentally create a Raiders, uh, Packers rivalry, I think with all of these, but, uh, you know what? I think these are two interesting players as well with David Bakhtiari and Trent Brown. I think uh, off the top of your head, a lot of people are probably going to say Bakhtiari is better. I think that's probably going to be the natural uh, inclination to think, and for a good reason. Bakhtiari is an incredible pass blocker. Like, take a look at this play. He's going up one-on-one -on -one against 52, uh, and if you're not sure who 52 is for the Bears, that's Khalil Mack. So, okay, you know, decent player. This is definitely a big-time matchup right here. What Mack is going to do is he's going to do one of his favorite moves, which is a, a stab and grab technique. So watch how right when this play starts, uh, Mack's going to put his left arm right on Bakhtiari's right shoulder and what Mac does is you know he grabs the shoulder and then his goal with his right hand is just to grab Bakhtiari's left hand if he can just grab it and move it out of the way now Bakhtiari won't be able to get that principal point of contact on Mac's left or right shoulder so his Bakhtiari's left hand on Mac's right shoulder it's the outside shoulder that's also another way to talk about it uh and if he can get that principal point of contact uh, then Bakhtiari should be able to make the block. But if he can't, it's going to be a lot more difficult to, and Mack can kind of twist around and get to the side of Bakhtiari a lot more easily. But what makes Bakhtiari so good is the way he can latch that hand on. And, you know, I talked about this when I made my full breakdown just of Bakhtiari, is how good he is at latching that outside hand on. And he just stops Mack in his tracks. And, you know, even when more contact came in, he was still able to stop Mack. Uh, and Mac's not an easy guy to stop. He's a very strong human. So uh, that's just kind of what he can do. Uh, he's very good at that. And so I think a lot of people are like, well, he's clearly better. But not so fast. Trent Brown can also pull off this same kind of thing very easily. Trent Brown is no scrub by any means. On this play, uh, he's going up against another guy who is one of the best in the game, Von Miller. One-on-one -on -one against Miller right here. Uh, and what's going to happen right when this ball is snapped is you see Miller's going to try the same thing, but look at how Brown just hits his other hand out of the way. So Brown's doing this, uh, you know, stopping the same move, but in a very different way. While Bakhtiari, he just focuses on getting his outside arm on the outside shoulder. Brown does the opposite. He knocks that stab part just out of the way right from the start because now it's just going to be so much easier for Brown to grab that outside shoulder, and that's what he's going to be able to do, and he's able to push Miller completely back like that. So again, a different way to stop it, but the same move against two very good pass rushers, and both of these guys can make the play. Uh, obviously, they're both great tackles. There's no denying that. Uh, of course, I think most Raiders fans will concede Bakhtiari is the better pass blocker. I, I think that that's fair to say. And I think most Packers fans will concede that Trent Brown is the better run blocker. I mean, like, watch this play. Uh, what's going to happen is that you're going to have uh, it's the, the fullback is the one uh, who's going to be running in between the guard and the tackle to tackle being Brown. Of course, he's the one on the right. Uh, and basically, the idea is that you just run your fullback through the gap, everyone's accounted for, and Jacobs can just run through that gap and get a touchdown. So this block is largely dependent on Brown, and watch how he, he's going to pull this off, where immediately he just twists, and look at his positioning right here. He is totally ready to just take that Denver player completely out of the play. There's already a gap, and if you're Denver, there's no way you're getting through Brown at this point. You just have to hope someone else can make a play. And while Jacobs doesn't even run through that gap, I mean, there was no way that uh, 95 right there, who was going up against Brown, was going to have a chance to make that play. Again, Brown in the running game, probably the best running running uh, run blocking tackle in the NFL, and I don't think that's too controversial to say. 
But what I do want to be clear on is Bakhtiari can also run block with the best of them. Like, he's not, a, you know, just like Trent Brown can still pass block, uh, Bakhtiari can absolutely still run block. Like, on this play, uh, what's going to happen is that you're going to have, uh, you know, three one-on-one -on -one matchups, and then Jones just runs uh, to the outside of Bakhtiari. And while 92, who Bakhtiari is going up against, is going to, at the beginning of this, try to clog up the middle, which is an advantage for Bakhtiari, at this point... For 92, this is actually pretty easy to just try and push back and try to get to the other side and make things that much more difficult on Jones to try to get into the end zone. However, Bakhtiari is able to hold, which allows Jones to only have to run over a defensive back to get into the end zone. Against a lesser tackle, there's no way they're getting a touchdown on this play. So, again, just like Brown can pass block, Bakhtiari can run block. So, who is better? I think that's, you know, the question. And... I think a lot of people, again, like I said, I think the average perception is probably going to be Bakhtiari, but at the same time, not so fast. I mean, for one thing, Brown is the one who's getting paid more. Uh, I do think that Brown, you know, he's someone who had such a big role in his team's Super Bowl run. That was with the Patriots, of course. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I think both of these guys, you know, were later round picks. Bakhtiari was a fourth rounder. Brown was a seventh rounder. And also, neither one of them exactly... Uh, was fantastic right when they entered the league. I really do think that this question is, there is no right answer. I think that uh, if you if you prefer just a straight up pass blocking tackle, I think Bakhtiari is the guy. If you like a guy who can just run block better and can still pass block, because again, these guys can both do both at a very high level. Uh, but if you prefer to run blocking game for a tackle, then Brown's your guy. So it really comes down to what do you value more for me, I, I value the passing game more. I think that that's more important for a tackle. I think having a tackle like Bakayari, especially with him being a natural left tackle, whereas Brown's a natural right tackle, uh, even though Brown has played left tackle, uh, I think that just the the, the what Bakayari can do from the left side and just shut down some of the best in the game, and it, gi it gives you so much more confidence that you know even if you have a right tackle who's not very good, you can always just throw in a tight end on that side or chip that side, and you can kind of just have confidence of your left tackle who can consistently make the plays. Not that you can't with Brown. You can with Brown as well, but I do feel like, uh, you know, I, I think that there's more value in the passing game than in the running game. But also, that being said, I mean, you can make the argument that for the Raiders, who are a team that they like to run the ball, and they like to power run the ball sometimes. So having a big guy like Brown, they can make the argument that for Raiders fans, they probably would say, hey, we're fine with Brown. Yeah, Bakhtiari is great, but we'd rather have Brown for his run blocking ability. Honestly, you can't go wrong. They're two fantastic players. Uh, and I think this interesting because, you know, it's not like running backs that I did last video where you can literally just look at the numbers and use that to make a decision to some degree. But you, you know, literally just have to watch the tape. There's no real other way uh, to know how good a linebacker is or, excuse me, offensive lineman is. So, so yeah, uh, I'm going to go with Bakhtiari on this one, which, you know, ties things up now. I went with Jacobs over Aaron Jones in my last video. So now uh, Bakhtiari here. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I already know you probably have already commented, uh, <laughs> but, you know, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.